Santa Fe. Well, we're going to start with Sean O'Shea from the Santa Fe Business Incubator. Sean, thanks so much for being here. Welcome thanks to the that. show. Always a pleasure. Thanks yeah, for glad me. to have you back. Beard or no beard, we're always good to <laughs> see. It's always good to see you. Um, so there's a couple of big events coming up. Uh, it was nice seeing you the other day, actually. Uh, first, let's start there with the, the big rollout for the 3D metal printer mm -hmm. for Sigma Labs. How's everything been going for that company since then? Uh, it's gangbusters. They're, um, so uh, Sigma Labs as a company um, is a software, primarily a software development company. Oh, okay. And they do, um, uh, they, their software is, is aimed at uh, 3D printers. Got it. So it's a, uh, it's making sure that the every piece that comes out of it, especially a metal 3D printer, is the same. Okay. And yeah. uh, so they're a quality assurance. So almost like a design and, and quality assurance. Right. Got it. So okay. when you're and because they're pr the things that they're printing out are uh, pieces that will go into airplanes and spaceships, and so you need them. You need the, a quality assurance program to make sure that when you're doing additive manufacturing, that all the pieces that come out are uh, are the same and they all meet certain standards. Absolutely, yeah, no question. Um, so there is this, and so the beauty of that is that they have this metal 3D printer that is open for people to come, uh, not, not only look at because it it's very interesting and cool to, to see the additive manufacturing process, uh, but also for larger companies that need to do uh, prototyping on a machine like that, mm -hmm. can go to Sigma Labs and, and they can do that and, uh, you know, for a small fee, of course, but it helps them and it helps the company that needs the, the uh, piece made. Yeah. You were also here talking a little bit about Startup Weekend, which was that, that was back in March or was it? Uh, uh, Startup Weekend was the, was in April. It was, was the April. 17th and the 19th. Not quite as long ago as I thought it might have been. Right. How did it, it seems go? like an age ago though. It does, doesn't it? Two months goes by yeah. pretty quickly, or a month and a half. <laughs> right. How, uh, how, uh, how did that go? Uh, Startup Weekends are always great, especially here in Santa Fe. We had uh, five teams, five pitches at the end. Um, our judging pool was uh, particularly good this time, and uh, and it was a um, it was the process was uh, verified by the fact that the judges took such a long time to deliberate. Yeah. So yeah. usually, you know, as a facilitator and a person that's there the whole weekend, you kind of know who's going to win. This time, I had no idea. And the uh, judges didn't have any idea either. So yeah. it was a very difficult judging Always process. Always a good sign that there's a lot of tough competition happening right. and the jury can't come to a decision. Right, yeah. Who ended up winning, though? Uh, it was a company called SheSpire. Okay. Uh, which is, their idea was to have a, a website app that will connect uh, female um, mentors with uh, uh, young women seeking mentorship. Got it. Okay. All right. I see. And uh, are they at the incubator now, or what are they doing now? They, they are all on uh, vacation now. Good for them. So, Good for them. So they're taking some, I guess, needed time off. Um, and they, uh, you know, one person lives in Albuquerque. Two people live in Santa Fe. Mm -hmm. They're um, one person actually is from the Bahamas. Um, so they're, you know. Jellin, trying it's an to get international their corporation right here in Santa Fe. Right, exactly. I love yeah. it. I love it. It's um, economic-based jobs all the way. Great, great. So that's kind of looking backwards since last, just get caught up since last time we talked. to so what's coming up this month? I know there's a building a business different mm -hmm. event uh, this month that's going to be a little bit unique uh, in, from what we've done before. Sure. Uh, tell us about that. Uh, so the, the Santa Fe Business Incubator, uh, apart from being uh, a great facility, uh, is also a series of uh, programs and workshops and events and, you know, uh, assistance and mentorship. Uh, and as part of that, we hold, uh, every month we hold a series of programs. Mm -hmm. um, and one of them is called Building the Business Different, which is a play on, you know, Santa Fe's sure, yeah. name, uh, or nickname, I guess it would be. Nickname, yeah. yeah. The City Different. The City Different. So this is Building the Business Different. Uh, so we hold a Building the Business Different once every other month. Uh, and this month, we're happy to have uh, a gentleman by the name of Everett Trujillo, uh, who's with Axiom Certified Public Accountants and Business Advisors. And he'll be giving a uh, presentation on uh, the gross receipts tax in New Mexico, uh, and also the high wage uh, tax credit that uh, New Mexican companies can take advantage of. Okay. Yeah. Um, and so the presentations are usually 20 minutes, and, it's, and we reserve the bulk of the time for questions and answers. Uh, the one that makes this special is that we're going to have a, a startup company in Santa Fe called Interpreter Santa Fe, uh, who does uh, Spanish interpretation. Uh, we'll be there on hand to do a live, simultaneous uh, interpretation of the program 
so that all the Spanish speaking uh, members of the community can come and take advantage of this presentation uh, and it'll be uh, interpreted for them. How does so, the tech work on that? Does, do people wear earpieces if they want to hear the Spanish simulcast or how does it work exactly? Uh, it will be. It'll be very similar to the UN. Gotcha. So it'll, you know, it'll be, it'll be like that. Yeah. So they'll speak but it won't be, uh, you know, you won't, they won't be speaking on top of someone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, the, pres the presenter will be wearing a lapel mic similar to what, what we're wearing now. And then the people who want to have, uh, want to take advantage of the simul of the interpretation will have uh, their own setup. Ready to go right there mm -hmm. at the desk. Nice, very cool. And yeah. then they can ask questions and it'll be sort of the same deal. So they can ask questions, uh, it'll be interpreted live so everybody can hear what the question is, mm -hmm. understand what the question is, and then he can give his response and everyone again will understand what the response is. And who's it open to? Who can come out to it? So uh, we do these Building the Business Different series. Again, it's once every other month, so it's six times a year. And it's open to everybody in the community. Got Everybody's it. welcome to come. Yeah, yeah. And this one will be uh, Thursday, June 11th, uh, from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Got it. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. Okay. So uh, that's coming up now, and that's at the center. That's at the incubator. That's, right? at, the that's incubator. at the incubator. Great. Uh, and then you're also hosting Bankers Hours. Right. right. So we do another program called um, Bankers Hours, uh, and this is a little more irregular, uh, the timing of it. So it's about once a quarter. Um, but one of the uh, big feedback that we got um, was that uh, entrepreneurs and startup companies uh, don't know or are afraid to engage with banks. Got um, it. Yeah. So we started a program called Bankers Hours and we invite bankers to come in and uh, give a presentation, put the face to a bank and, uh, and are available to answer questions about how startup companies and entrepreneurs uh, can position themselves to engage with the bank or can directly engage with the bank in the position they're in right now. Got it. It's something that takes something that's intimidating a lot of people who are startups um, mm -hmm. and don't may not understand business banking um, and kind of brings it down to earth, makes it digestible, breaks right. it up, and makes yeah. it a little bit less uh, unfamiliar. Right. It puts a face and a human voice to an institution. Sure, sure, absolutely. Uh, and when, now when's that coming up? That will be uh, June 17th. Uh, from 11 a.m. To, to noon, and uh, our banker this time will be uh, Trish Johnston from the Bank of Albuquerque. Trish and Johnston that again is open to, ever, to the entire community. Anybody's welcome to come. And is that another one you guys do monthly or bi monthly or how often do we you? We do this about quarterly. Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, it de depends. On, yeah, on if you feel like there's the need for it or a lot of questions about it, that kind of thing. Right, yeah. Gotcha. Uh, okay. And you know, a lot of it's rep we don't want it to be too repetitive. Sure. That makes sense. That makes sense. So you've got on the 11th coming up, June 11th, building the business different, mm -hmm. um, which is going to be simulcast in Spanish. That's from Edward Trujillo over at Axion, and he's going to be focused on the uh, the high wage tax credit and, and what right. else? And the gross receipts tax. And the gross receipts tax. Right. So and, the gross and, receipts uh, tax in New Mexico is, um, I think it was designed to be very simple, but ended <laughs> up to be ends up being very complicated. Has so many yeah. things. That <laughs> right. And you know, some businesses pay it monthly, some businesses pay it quarterly, some businesses do it. Does anybody pay it annually or is it either monthly or quarterly or? Uh, I mean, it should be, well, it should be monthly should or quarterly. It should be monthly yeah. and quarterly. Some don't pay it at all. Hey, some pay too go. much, some pay too little. Yeah, yeah. Some, some don't know whether they have to charge or whether not. Whether it applies to them right. or, yeah. yeah. Okay, good to know, good to know. Okay, fantastic. And then uh, the banker's hours, that's on the 17th and, mm -hmm. uh, and that's with uh, the Bank of Albuquerque? Right. All right, yeah. fantastic. Well, thank you so much. Absolutely. Really yeah. appreciate you coming by and All right. always happy to talk thank about you. the great events going and on. And if I may, um, yeah, of course. Interrupt. But for more, more information, please uh, visit our website, sfbi.net, uh, or give us a call, 424-1140. Absolutely. Do it. Reach out. It's a great organization doing some great work here in the city, and we certainly appreciate it. Thanks All for right. coming by. Thank you, Matt. Thank All you. All right.